opening night. What's on your mind? Just having a good showing. Uh, Phil used to say that when you start a season, you want to win um, 20 games before you lose 10. So I'd like to just kind of build on the momentum we ended last season with and set the tone for a, a good season, a winning season. What sorts of things are you and Jeannie communicating about in the days leading up to a day like today? Pretty much everything. She's incredibly detail-oriented, so she wants to know you know, how the players are doing, if a guy's coming back from an injury, how he's feeling, how the team cohesiveness is going. She's um, incredibly thoughtful and she empowers people to do their job. Um, at the same time, she wants to stay really attached to all things Lakers. You mentioned you've been a part of a lot of opening nights. Do you know how many this is? I guess it's my 43rd season. That's crazy. How has opening night evolved from your early ones to now? Um, be be because people forget back then the, the league was on the brink of bankruptcy, right? Yeah, I mean, when, when we started, it was kind of like, um, you, you were hoping that you'd get some coverage in the media, that it was your opening night because you had, um, you know, maybe the World Series going on, you had college football, you know, um, the NBA wasn't that popular in 1979. Um, so, um, I've seen that change a lot. Walk into Sigoro Betty. So Sincoro is um, our, the tequila right. company that I'm a part of. I was born in 2016. I was out to dinner with some of the fellow governors, the uh, Boston Celtics governor, Wick Grossbeck, and his wife, Amelia Fazolari, Michael Jordan, and Wes Edens, who owns the Milwaukee Bucks. And we realized that we all shared a love of tequila, but being the competitive people that we are, we thought we could, we could do a better one. So we decided to, to create our own tequila that we would enjoy drinking. And certainly having Michael Jordan, um, it's the Sincoro taste palette is his, you know, he's he is the tastemaker for us. Oh, is he? And yes, everything that Michael does, he does very well. We started this a year ago, and now this is the room that everybody wants to come to and visit. We call it the patio. Typically, this would be where the Zambonis would park for if it, if it there was a hockey game. Yeah. So like we were able to, you know, say just give us a space. If you build it, they will come. Many very famous people want to be here, want to be accommodated. So, you know, the, where can they park? How can they enter? It's just a lot of that. And we enjoy um, making it a fun experience for them. It was something that was important to Dr. Buss. His theory was that when you have a friend visit from out of town and you live in LA, they ask you to do three things. They want to go to Disneyland, they want to go to the beach, and they want to see a real life celebrity. Going to a Lakers game, you're probably going to see TV stars and movie stars sitting on the court, sitting in the stands. Hello there, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. I saw uh, Kevin Hart's over there. Lou Adler. Oh, yeah. It's right. You see Silver from the score table. And then he's sitting next to Jack Nicholson's son, who looks just like him. I'm forever a fan of the Sixers, but you have to address and realize the understanding of entertainment understanding of live action and you don't know who or what you'll see when you go to a Lakers game. And the idea of Showtime that was embedded way back then that still exists today, I think is dope. What do you respect about her? 
I respect the fact that she has a stance and a name uh, that's attached to the franchise that's one of success, accomplishments, and integrity. What do you think makes her successful? Incredible drive. I think it's a combination of honoring her dad and honoring all the Laker greats that have played here and what they stand for. She wants to uphold that standard. I imagine at some point it's going to be one or two other governors that happen to right. be women because, you know, nowadays the governors are getting younger and they have daughters. And so somebody's going to want to run the show at some point. What she's doing is actually trailblazing and helping those behind her understand what it kind of takes to continue on the legacy. So why second row? My people don't understand why I don't sit in, in the best seat. But I got used to sitting here because I could, like, see film. And it's important to you to always be accessible to the fans as well. Yes. Throughout why? Um, because without them, like, that's what it's all about. in some ways she feels like she's hosting this entire building and she wants to make sure everybody's comfortable and entertained. What do you enjoy about coming to games? Basketball. What? Basketball, man. It's a basketball game. <laughs>